Turning now to this, two Mecklenburg County agencies want to mend fences today. After years of fighting, the Mecklenburg County Commission and the Charlotte Mecklenburg School Board have historically been at odds with each other over school funding, among other issues. And WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison was there for a meeting today to talk solutions. So, Shay, did we see any potential path forward here? Yes, there was a potential path forward, mainly around how they can talk to each other and set clear expectations and boundaries about budget talks. There was also a conversation about how the next CMS superintendent will bridge the relationship of the two boards. CMS shared with the county commissioners its model of student focused governing. That means all board decisions are based on increasing students career and college readiness. It sounds like on a really frequent cadence, there's a measurement and a reporting back to the school board. But Mecklenburg County Board Chair George Dunlap worried about the district's plan for a new superintendent. And the concern is that if there is a change in direction that might delay or impede some progress that is beginning to happen. When we start looking at a superintendent, if someone doesn't want to follow this, then that's not the right person for CMS. Commissioner's outlook on the direction of CMS has changed drastically since commissioners unsuccessfully tried to withhold $56 million from CMS. You know, our history obviously has been, where's the plan? And I think, I think we've been answered and I think it's, I think it's really good news. But there were still some tensions around the topic of funding. I think a lot of times we throw out these words around fully funding. And I think saying some of that absent understanding the priority, the other priorities that are being funded by this board, it leads to this level of contention. Fully funded is a trigger. Got it. But also when, we, when I hear the word give, give, that's a trigger to me because I would rather hear allotment because there's a, it's not like you, we're given anything. I think it's a, a statute. We're, we're, it's, you're mandated to fund us. Overall, the meeting showed progress on both sides. You know, this has been a courageous conversation today, and I'm really grateful for it. And soon both boards will start outlining their budgets for the next school year that usually starts around April into May. But after this discussion today, they did say there may be an opportunity to talk about those things between the two boards earlier than usual. Fred, Vanessa. Oh, wow. All right. Shay, thanks for those updates.